Hey everyone, Alex from Rad Thai and GMN on the camera. Yo. Ooh. Okay, so today we're doing another one of Gary's pieces. We're doing the Star Wars uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Dude, we've had um, this in our yeah. fucking house 20 times and never done the review. Well, never. Gary keeps bringing it over with uh, a lot of other pieces. Uh, we told Gary to bring um, two pieces the other day. Yeah. And he bought about seven or eight. Yeah, and, easy. He uh, don't listen to us at all. He, he don't give a shit what we say. Uh, and he always brings a lot of pieces. So basically, I said to him, Look, Gary, you keep bringing these pieces over. You're not going to get them out of the box. Uh, leave them here. We'll sort it out and then pick them up next time you're here. So Gary's very trusting. He's left them here. So if anyone wants to buy a Grand <laughs> um, So basically, Grand Moff Tarkin uh, from the Star Wars films, the originals. And, the original? Uh, no. Is, is he in any of the others? We were just talking about this. You think that Vader killed somebody, he killed, he dies. I don't uh, think he dies. You know that. I got choked out. Yeah, but he gets choked, doesn't he? The, f the, f the fat geezer at the table who's, who's Larry to Vader yeah. stupid. But then the other guys, I, I don't know what happens to him after Star Wars. I have to, I can't Is remember like him. I just don't remember him, anything happening to him. Don't remember him dying, that's for sure. Mm, I know, I'm not sure. I don't remember Vader I've being pissed Star off of him. a lot of times, but not like, I don't really know it that well. Mm. I've seen it like, like when it was on Christmas and things like that, but um, I don't know it super well. Get out of here. Anyway, let's, let's scrap half of this. Um, <laughs> So basically, yeah, Grand Moff Tarkin uh, from Star Wars. Premium format. Uh, premium format with his little, uh, his little torture droid. So, yeah. yeah. So keep watching, guys. That's how I roll. Go. Right, everyone, so we're back. We're just going to look at the box. And uh, again, it's a typical Star Wars box with the kind of uh, the black with the greys on the sides like that. Faded in edges. And uh, this is... Um, this is from Sideshow, uh, Grandma Tarkin, you just see the piece there. And, uh, no, I'm looking at the you box. Go, you see the, uh, the, your the, the Imperial Governor. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Was the Imperial Governor of the Outlying Regions and key figure in the development of the Death Star Project. A brilliant and ruthless tactician. That's probably why he's still alive. Hmm. So more Tarkin's methods, blah, blah, blah. And the interesting thing with this is you actually get this with the piece. None of this extra bullshit. None of this and give us another $150 or $200. And yeah, this is 358 of 750 But what you have to remember as well, though, is he's a very... He's, this, he is a bit of a beadless character, isn't he? Yeah, and this is 2012, this as well, isn't it? So, um... Let's get him over. Let's get him here. The I... Was it the ITO... Interrogator droid. Oh, sweet. So basically, you get the instructions for the, for the droid. Which you needed, well. correct? Uh, yes, I did. I did. I'm not going to lie to you. And this is quite heavy, this thing as well, isn't it? This, uh, this droid well, thing. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll wait out in a minute. But what we'll do work on the base. So this is the typical kind of Star Wars bases here with this, the, the flat bases with the kind of detailing of the, uh, one of the ships. Yeah, and this, this is quite matte compared to like a glossy sort of finish mm. around the side, which is a nice contrast. So what we do then is work away with boots. Yeah. So the boots are fully sculpted. And then onto the media. Really weird thing that George actually pointed out to me because um, he was touching it up. But when you actually go onto the legs, he's actually got these like weird kind of fins on his yeah. legs to keep the shape of the trousers. Yeah. So if you look here, yeah, it's actually yeah. like a fin. That's it. It's so it like, sculpted. You can grab it like that. That's sculpted. Like a fin yeah. there to keep the trousers out. Yeah. So obviously um, over time, as the mixed media starts to lose its shape because they've sculpted it into the legs, it's going, it will stay. So you'll always have this sort of bumper club um, trouser leg going on the situation <laughs> where he looks a bit like he's walking down North London with a, with a cap on his head. Yeah, but the trousers would be a bit lower. A bit lower. Um, and then also, I mean, you've got... Really the, good material though, isn't it? It's like really, really, really good thing fitness material. going uh, on. So you've got that there, then you've got the belt. Yeah. And uh, you've got the material here. It's all kind of the same material. And then on, underneath here, you've got like a shirt as well. So it's more diff different material there. Is that um, actual? Yeah, it is actually yeah, material. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. that's cool, man. Uh, Got great then, texture on them. Try and get yeah. a bit close on that, that that texture on that shirt. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah and uh, you've also nice. got, for when you put his head on, you know, I've got a bit of Velcro here to kind of give it a bit of slack so you can get his head in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the head comes off. That's cool. Yeah, the head comes off and then you kind of have to be sure you kind of keep his pens or whatever they are there. Right. I've got to say, the likeness is really good. The face like, is very amazing good. texturing and, and aging on him, like the way that these faces painted. I mean, you really can see the definition in his cheekbones and his and his sagginess of his skin around the eyes. It's beautiful. I mean, this is one of the this is one of the premium face sculpts. I'm not joking. This yeah. is serious. This. 
I'm not a big fan of the character overly, like it's not a big thing for me, but the quality of work on this piece is, especially the head sculpt's next level. Yeah. That is that is like spot on. And then if we move on. Great details in the ear as well, over the hair. Move on a little bit here. So you've got the interrogator droid. And uh, what you've got here, so obviously you've got the, the tools of the trade. So if you want to start the base, yeah. uh, work your way up again. So um, if you uh, yeah, look on there, so you've got like good kind of detail here. Um, this is a solid metal pole. This screws in, mm. and then uh, this is attached to to uh, to the droid. I actually think this is tin. This this droid. I don't think it's plastic. Can you hear that? It sounds like yeah. it feels like tin. And look at the top here. This particular part on the top. If you go into that, you can see that that feels like it's tin. Could be around yeah. the edges. I think this might actually be made of some kind of tin and painted. Yeah. Looks, Maybe. looks cool. And um, it's quite you... interesting because it's, it's it's almost baby making. I mean, you, what you've got here, you've got an epidural yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the things that actually take babies out of women. What are yeah. they called? Them things? Forceps. No, not forceps. forceps. Is it, it is forceps? forceps. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got a bottle, on a bottle opener to celebrate the, the baby birth. <laughs> and then you've got like a spatula on the back where you can fry yourself an egg. So anyway, <laughs> so basically this, these are the so six pieces that come off here. Yeah. Uh, so go on to it. So as I say, George, you've got, this, you've got the syringe. Uh, this one took me Just ages to figure close. out where it went because it goes into the uh, quite details into on the it. top there at an angle, so it's really hard to find the uh, the peg hole. Mm. Um, and then you've got these other ones. As I say, you get the instructions with this here, and I did need them, so I do use them. Yeah, <laughs> um, you couldn't find where that top one went in, could you? This is the one that screwed me over a bit because it was at an it's angle. hidden in it. It's well it's hidden. kind of hidden behind there. Um, it's really I, I showing think, the light on this as well, shining off and blinding this camera big time. This what I'll do thing. is, uh, I think, I mean, this, as, as George was saying, I mean, this is kind quite of heavy. Like the side piece that um, they would be charging for now, so like BB 8 or something. It is pretty know. much, is it? I mean, let's be honest, it is. Uh, this is actually a kilo. That's pretty cool. Uh, this says 2.2 pounds. Yep. And um, the Grand Moff Tarkin himself he is. I think he's going to be about three and a half. Three, maybe yeah. three kilos. What was Logan? About the same as Logan. We ain't a kilo. You know, we have to reset. God damn! Well, it's about two point six five, I think. <laughs> Let's have a look. Put him. There you go. Yeah, it was exactly two point six five. So just right. under three. So it's funny. It was a funny thing. Is I mean, this is two thousand and six, and Logan is yeah. two. Logan was two thousand and six. This is two thousand and twelve. Um, size wise what's the measurements on this as well I mean sure. he isn't going to be as big is he I'm guessing 18 inches tall, tall? well it's uh, about 19 okay um, and then displayable he's just a little base yeah it's got to be so, about 8 uh, inches isn't it in diameter 9 okay so 9 uh, highly displayable detox worthy then, even with um, both of them you could get both of them in a detox no problem yeah that's the look in it yeah I'll go over some bits if you want I know how you how you love the camera. Well, I just like it up and a down. You know, I like to kind of start off there. I actually, re I I really am digging the hands on this. The shirt, the mixed media is really top top class, and the face sculpt is one of the best face sculpts I've seen in a long time. That well, that's that's one of the things that normally um, normally lacks on movie pieces. The face sculpt, so that is no question at all. Yeah, the texture and the, the the aging on him is amazingly well done. Skin texture and the hands are great. Is it you know if I if I cared about Star Wars even remotely, is it, is it just on the on the quality of work alone? This would be worth having. Sure, because the, the quality oh, of work um, is really it's high. It's one of those pieces that actually. Um, if Sideshow could do all their stuff, if 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 they could continue on this type of standard. Now I know the fins are there, though I can't help but notice them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but the you, the, the trousers do flare out like that, so. I mean, it's a way to keep keep the, the trousers out like that, so that the over time the gravity doesn't take hold. And it just sags like, and you look like, you know, an, you know, vanilla ice fucking tribute band. He don't want to look like <laughs> that. He wants to, you know, meant to look flary. Almost they're almost like Nazi like trousers, aren't they? Yeah. Because I mean, there's elements of um, World War Two and um, the Nazis in the um, Star Wars uh, thing, isn't there? Sure. In their uniforms and stuff, the hats and everything else. Well, it's meant to be in Lord the of Japanese as well. and the yeah, the, yeah, exactly the Japanese and the Nazis. It's meant to have that sort of that sort of look. Okay, it, it's amazing. It's, it's it, you know I can see why Gary kept bringing this fucking piece around because the quality of it is 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 there, and the fact that you get that thrown in, no extra mm. prices and stuff. I mean that's really. I mean, you shouldn't be paying for fucking BB8 and all that shit. You shouldn't be paying for that. No. But the thing about BB8 is people probably will want to buy BB8. 
Yeah, but that's where they've got you, you see. If, that, yeah. if you think like that, that's where they've got you. You're better off just being like, I ain't bothered. And then they'll start throwing that stuff in. All right. You know what I mean? Anyway, thanks very much for uh, joining us. And um, try and uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe. You know, we always try and chat to everybody. Um, let me know what you think about this piece. If you've got it, let you me know what you display out. it with. What's that? Share. Share. Yeah. Share miss- there. No matter which always, way you do yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I always miss out comment, and I'm the one that's speaking to everybody. That's why you don't want to. Don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Right. Peace. Having fun? I never know what to put my fucking hands. I still, do you know what I love about you? When you start your videos, all of a sudden you just stiffen up. Like, as you, <laughs> you like relax. Like, I go, I put a button and you just go, Hi, it's Alex Red. <laughs> That's why people think I'm tall. You're, well, you're not short. Sure. Right. I am. Go.